this is Richard Planks at Money Farm talking about some of the things that have caught our attention over the past few days. And this week it's really been about US monetary policy. Um, on Thursday, the uh, US Federal Reserve announced some changes to its monetary policy framework. And this is uh, worth going into in a little bit more detail. Uh, just by way of background, the Fed has a, a dual mandate of stable prices and um, full employment. Uh, when developed market central banks talk about stable prices, they're usually talking about something around 2%. Uh, there are some differences and nuances, but, but, but that's generally the number. Um, the Fed is a little bit unusual in having also this, this, this full employment mandate. Um, and what it's done is a couple of things. First, it's, it's increased its emphasis on, on, on the employment part of its mandate. Um, it recognizes that inflation, it thinks, is structurally lower than it has been. Um, and also perhaps that the relationship between uh, inflation and unemployment is, is not as strong as it was perhaps 20 or 30 years ago. Um, the second part of it is, is around this 2% this figure. Um, the Fed has moved to thinking and talking about an average of 2%. And what that means is that if, if the, um, you know, the rate of inflation on its preferred measure is, is below 2% for an extended period of time, as it has been over the last few years, um, the Fed has indicated that it would be comfortable you know, running inflation above 2% for a period of time, really to, to, to offset that, to get to an average of 2%. What does that all mean? Um, well, firstly, on a practical level, it, it suggests that, that interest rates in the US will stay lower for longer. Um, you might have um, some implications in terms perhaps of a weaker dollar over time. Um, and possibly you could argue that the price of gold, at least in dollars, should also be uh, relatively well supported uh, as a result of this. Um, the interesting question, um, from our perspective, is, is to what extent the, um, these moves will, will actually help the Fed achieve its goals. Um, after all, you know, interest rates have been low for a very long time. And so far, you know, you haven't really seen... Um, inflation converge back to um, the Fed's 2% target. Uh, where you've seen other countries with um, interest rates that have been lower for even longer um, than in the US, uh, say in Japan, um, you also haven't seen great success in terms of bringing inflation back. So this concern about deflation uh, has been around for a long time and, and central banks have been trying to address it. So for us, it's still... Um, unclear whether the signaling that the Fed has, has, has done here um, is really going to make a, uh, an important difference in terms of achieving um, its long-term inflation targets. Uh, nonetheless, uh, it's an important shift in the policy framework, um, even if the jury, we think, is still a little bit out as to whether um, the Fed will actually achieve its goals as a result. Thank you for joining us uh, and look forward to speaking to you again soon.